Next question is from Fit As Trucker. How important is it to have a goal in fitness, such as fat loss, competition, or aesthetics? I think having a goal gives you a direction so you can create the structure of your program and have an idea of how you want to eat based off of your goal and sleep and all that stuff. Mm. But I think um, falling in love with the goal and making everything about the goal is one of the biggest mistakes people make yeah. in fitness because uh, if you make it all about the goal, either one, if you set the goal in a way that's not realistic and you completely and you totally start to fail hitting it, then you're out completely, or... This sounds like a good thing, but you hit the goal. But because it was all about the goal, you've lost all your wind. You've lost all your motivation. Now that I'm here, I lost my 30 pounds that I want to lose so bad. Now I need to maintain, and I haven't fallen in love with the journey. Now everything sucks, and I tend to you know, go backwards. So goals are good, but fall in love with the journey. That's what I always say. Yeah, I think it's interesting because I think the goal itself is is great for providing structure and to you know make your workouts effective but at the same time you you almost have to abandon your goal and be flexible almost like as you start to really get into it and it's, that's a hard thing to uh you know if you're very like adamant on getting to the destination of the goal versus mm -hmm. you know really uh it's starting to like and enjoy the process of getting towards the goal i think i think having a goal is necessary i just don't think having a goal fits in these categories of such as fat loss, competition, or aesthetics. There's t thousands of great goals for you to have, and I think it's always evolving and changing. Mm. So I think that if you're going to be successful at health and fitness, I think you have to have a goal. But it doesn't necessarily need to be anything that even comes close to fitting in this category. Your goal could be, yeah. I just want to get good at squatting. That's a great goal. Mm -hmm. And it's a great thing for you to focus on for a long period of time where all you think about is, I'm going to get good at squatting or a great goal is I'm going to improve my ankle mobility. Yeah. Like the last question that we had alleviate pain. In yeah. A very specific. Job. Right. I'm going to just, you know, I've got all this chronic pain going on in my body. I am going to work at learning why that is, what the root cause is, addressing it and fixing it in my body. I'm going, a great goal is I'm going to dedicate this year to getting really good at nutrition, understanding what my body needs and what works for me and tracking and paying attention to how my, I mean, there's a million goals that you can have. And I think it's important that you have some sort of direction and goal if you're going to be successful in health fitness. But I think the problem is, is that because of, for advertising purposes, we've been cattled into these, you know, general uh, categories of fat loss, muscle building, be an athlete, go compete. Like it's like, no, it, it, you, you can make it whatever you want to be. And it shouldn't fit in just these categories, but I do think that it's mm. important that you have something in mind. And this, to me, is how I personally have stayed in love with fitness for as long as I have because my goals are always changing. I mean, in the, the time that we've been together, I've had several different like serious fitness goals that I've been going after, and, and a lot of times none of them fit in this category. Yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. a good point. Um, you know, I've also found a lot of success with making the having behavior goals that end up giving me right. uh, effective side effects. Like for example, uh, you know, let's say my let's say I want to lose weight. Well, rather than making the weight loss the goal, I say my goal is to make it to the gym three days a week. So that's my goal. I'm going to focus yeah, on that. Goal. And then the behavior then uh, and resulting. I used to do this with my sales guys, right? So when, when I run gyms and I had sales teams, uh, rather than giving them a sales goal, you have to hit this much money. I'd say you had your goal is to make this many phone calls and have this many appointments, which I know would result in- I did the same thing with right. trainers. Trainers were so um, resistant to uh, talking about sales and money and stuff like that because they're here to help people. And so I, I had to figure out a way, how do I motivate these these guys and girls to hit these quotas that I need so I can be successful? And so I just unpacked it and just like, I knew that if this, if trainer A right. talked to 20 people right. a day, that it would but result- this many appointments. Yes. And, fits, yeah. and so, yeah. I, so yeah, you can set, um, you can set a lot of different goals. I think it is necessary to have some sort of direction. Otherwise it's really easy to- uh, become unmotivated because if you're just re if you're just relying on the motivation for that day to get to the gym and you have no direction or no focus, um, you, you need you, a, you need a target. Yeah. But you know it's like shooting an arrow. Like you need to, a target to aim at, but you also need to fall in love with the process of pulling the arrow back and letting go. Right? Because if it's all about hitting the target, you hit the target. I'm done. See you guys later. Right. But if you love the process. Well, now you can change your goals uh, on a whim. You can make the goals be whatever you want. But I love the – I here's the deal. I'll never stop training or working out because I love the process of working out. But when I'm working out, 
I always have a target. I know kind of the direction that I'm going. It gives me an idea of what my workout and stuff should look right. like. 